In this, we are going to learn about respiratory quotient. So we know that in respiration, we take the oxygen and we release carbon dioxide. So respiratory quotient is that. So how much amount of what is the the volume of released carbon dioxide and the ratio between the volume of released carbon dioxide and taken oxygen. So simply we take oxygen and we release carbon dioxide. Means so CO2 is evolved and O2 is consumed. O2 is consumed. So respiratory quotient RQ is equal so the volume of evolved carbon dioxide and the volume of consumed oxygen. So the volume of volume of otherwise evolved evolved CO2 by RQ is equal evolved CO2 and consumed O2. So how much of uh, the ratio is uh, says that how much when we take variety types of food we take proteins, carbohydrates and all these things fats. So it, in those conditions what is the RQ that is we are that we are going to calculate. Okay, so what is the RQ? RQ is the ratio of the ratio of volume of evolved CO2 of the ratio of the consumed O2. So the ratio of the ratio of the, the ratio of volume of volume of what is that evolved CO2 evolved CO2 and to the to the volume of to the ratio of ratio of consumed consumed O2. So first we will calculate it for carbohydrates. If the respiratory substance is carbohydrate, what is the respiratory substance? Carbohydrate. So we know that the glucose glucose is C6 H2O6 glucose in aerobic respiration in aerobic respiration by 6 O2 it going to give 6 carbon dioxide and 6 H2O plus energy is released. So in this if you calculate the RQ for this RQ is so release evolved CO2. How many molecule, how many molecules of carbon dioxide is released? 6 CO2 and used is 6 O2. The RQ is 1. So in case of carbohydrates, the RQ is 1. Okay. So next in the case of second case, when we take the fats. When fats are used as respiratory substance. If we use carbohydrates, the RQ is 1 for carbohydrates. If we use fats as a respiratory substance, we are taking tripalmatin, tripalmatin, so that is C51, Two molecules of tripalmatin. It is going to consume 145 oxygen molecules and going to give 102 
कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड प्लस वाटर प्लस एनर्जी सो इन दिस रिएक्शन इफ यू गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट द आर क्यूब सो हियर इन द केस ऑफ फैट्स सो हाउ मेनी मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज रिलीज वन नॉट टू एंड हियर वन फोर्टी फाइव यूज we get around 0.7 0.7 that means when we use the fats as a respiratory substance the rq is rq is less than 1 less than 1 and in the third case so second case fats for fats it is going to less than 1 and for acids if we take the acids for acids so what is the uh, q we are going to take oaa oxaloacetic acid so oxaloacetic acid when it is used as a respiratory substance so we take one molecule of oxygen and it gives the four carbon dioxide and two molecules of water and energy so in this case if you are calculate the rq how many molecules four co2 is released one o2 so we are getting four means for acids it is rq is for acids rq is more than one for our quiz more than one if you take another acid that is malic acid if you take one more acid malic acid c4 h6o5 in the presence of three o2 by utilizing it is going to produce four co2 and three molecule of water plus e e stands for energy so we are taking malic acid malic acid it is going to consume three molecules of water by taking three molecules of oxygen it is going to produce four molecules of carbon dioxide if we calculate the rq 4co2 3o2 it comes nearly 1.33 so means that so for acids it is more than one we calculate that whether it is a less than one or more than one what it is coming and then if you take the anaerobic respiration and one more condition that is anaerobic respiration in anaerobic respiration so glucose is going to give ethyl alcohol H2O6 by taking the oxygen. So not here there is no oxygen is not taken because it is anaerobic respiration in the absence of oxygen. So it gives the carbon dioxide only two molecules of carbon dioxide and plus it gives ethyl alcohol C2H5OH. plus energy so it is anaerobic respiration where the oxygen is not utilized so in this condition rq value is two molecules of carbon dioxide it is zero so means the answer is infinity so in the case of the rq value in the anaerobic respiration is infinity so if you take the succulent plants If you take succulent plants, if you take succulent plants, so in this glucose is oxidized. Glucose is converted into malic acid. It is going to convert it into malic acid. Malic acid. Plus, it gives the 
three molecules of water and energy. In this, there is no what? There is no carbon dioxide. So in this succulent plant, R P is equal. C O two is zero and carbon dioxide water is sorry C O two is zero and oxygen is three. So the uh, value is R P value is zero. So because released carbon dioxide is not there. Okay, so it is used by the plant. So in this, what we are going to see that when respiratory substances, what uh, based on the respiratory substance, we are going to say what is the R Q value. So for the carbohydrate, it is one, and for the fats, it is less than one. For acids, it is more than one. In the case of anaerobic respiration, it is infinity, and in the succulent plants it is zero so this is the rq means the ratio of how much of carbon dioxide is released and how much of what is the volume of oxygen is taken so the ratio between the carbon evolved carbon dioxide and consumed oxygen is known as the respiratory quotient okay thank you